Namaskaram, Sri Gurupyo Namaha. We welcome you to the evening session of Shobhaya Mani. After the mo beautiful morning presentation, uh, all our students of Academy are here today, today from all parts of the globe to come together and present this dance tribute to our Guru, Srimati Shobha Naidugaru. We would like to thank the Platinum uh, sponsors of today's event, uh, Dr. Parameshwar Bhimi Reddy, from our, President of ATA, for kindly sponsoring our event today. We would also like to thank another Platinum uh, sponsor, Sri Anand Kuchiputla from Silicon Andhra. And the gold sponsors, Nata, Tana Patashala, Nats, and we would like all of them um, to, we would like to thank all, each and every one of them today to make this happen for us. Thank you so much. Today's uh, evening's performance is going to be highlight of some of our Guru's early choreographies. This group of participants belong to the 90s to 2000 decade. And this is the second uh, decade uh, senior students who are presenting today. I would like to introduce today's MC, Mrs. Rajeshwari Udegiri. Rajeshwari Garu has a deep respect for Indian culture and traditions and takes pride in her heritage and ethnicity. An accomplished theater artist, Rajeshwari is the director of uh, an organization, organization, a director and founder of Sarasija Theatres, an organization dedicated to Telugu dramas for the past seven years. Coming from a family of writers, Rajeshwari aspires to nurture and grow her own talent and skills beside working towards passing on her knowledge to the future generations. She's a child artist on the radio platform and a great artist in All India Radio. She's multi-talented. She's an A-grade drama artist and she's a television anchor and artist act, and acted in uh, serials like Shanti Nivasam, Edarilo, Koila, and Priralu Piliche, working with famous K. Raghuendra Rao Garu and Endamuri Pirendra Nath Garu. She is also a dubbing voice artist for around 27 movies in just one year. Rajeshwari also owns and operates Radio Surabi, radio station in Dallas for more than 10 years. And also I would like to add here that Rajeshwari has been part of Natya Anjali's productions and she has emceed and she is not just one, but she has emceed all the uh, famous and uh, artists who come from India. And she's very sought out uh, master of ceremonies for us. And uh, a very special moment for us here is when teacher came forward and was very glad to be part of this. And Rajeshwari Garu, thank you so much, Andy, for coming, to, uh, coming today and conducting this. I would like to hand over to you to carry on the program. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sri Garu. Thank you very much. Um, it's very kind of you to say so many things. Namaskaram, everybody. Vagartha Viva Samprukta Vagartha Pratipate Jagatha Pitaro Vande Parvati Parameshwara. To accept is not a thing here. It's a privilege to me. It's an honor to me because of the kind of love and affection and huge respect I have for Padma Sri Dr. Shobha Naidgar. I really, really consider myself very fortunate to be associated with uh, Sri Lathagaru, your school and your productions. 
and it's my my fortune that i was able to mc and see her in front of my eyes see um shobhan edgaru perform in front of my eyes i still get goosebumps even now when i speak about those moments because that is the kind of experience um i have felt to be an artist first of all i feel like any any art form to be an artist itself is a boon it's a divine blessing for people there are very there are very very few people we can we can count on our fingers who are great stalwarts great artists who have taken up the art that they were blessed with as a part of their life vaalla jeevana vidhananni aa kalaki ankitam chesi జీవించగలిగిన వాళ్ళు చాలా తక్కువ మంది అటువంటి కళాకారులు ఉన్నారు అందులో ఖచ్చితంగా గొప్పగా ప్రప్రథమంగా చెప్పుకోదగ్గ కళాకారిణి శ్రీమతి శోభా నాయుడు గారు ఈరోజు ఇంత బ్యూటిఫుల్ అకేషన్ ఐ ఐ మస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ కంగ్రాచులేట్ ది ఆర్గనైజర్స్ టు బిగిన్ దిస్ గ్రాండ్ ఈవెంట్ విత్ అ బిగ్ బ్యాంక్ దిస్ మార్నింగ్ ఇట్ వాస్ అ వండర్ఫుల్ సెషన్ ఇట్ వాస్ సో హార్టనింగ్ టు సీ all those beautiful dancers perform and i really cannot wait to see what this evening unfolds what kind of dances we are going to witness because each and every dance ladies and gentlemen that you're going to see all those that are connected with us right now and the ones that will be watching this later on each and every single piece is padma shri dr shobha nayagari creation her choreography her vision her creative thought it's her it's her prayer in a form and it is such an honor to be presenting this evening as a master of ceremonies and i feel really privileged thank you for that to all of you sri lata garu jyoti garu lakshmi garu and everybody who is involved i have so much to talk about shobha naid garu but i am sure everybody is waiting to watch these wonderful dancers perform so i will try to hold back my thoughts my feelings for some time and i hope to share them as we keep progressing today and tomorrow so uh without further ado i will i will just i will just share one single thing uh, before i begin introducing the artists and the great items that we are going to witness this evening to me i have this fond memory very very vague memory when i have witnessed dr shobhan ayer garu perform uh, on in the ravindra bharti auditorium as a child i was very young i was a very young child holding my mom's hand walking into the auditorium as my mom was you know uh, totally speaking all the great things about shobhan ayer garu watching her perform and everybody um, you know when after her, her performance was done uh, people were um, honoring her on the stage salava kappi pulla danda veste avadiki avada a roopam unna kallaki ippati kuda oka gullo devathanu chuste vachina anubhuti chinna pillaga dance ante teliyani aa vayasu lo kuda avada evaru avada goppatanu enti teliyani naaku ardham kaani vayasu lo kuda image ala undi poyindi na manasulo ippatiki alage undi eppatiki alage untundi i'm sure bad telangana hails from a family of musicians and dancers Pallavi was inspired and trained by her mother and guru Srimathi PB Krishna Bharati. Guru Krishna Bharati is one of the senior students of Guru Shobha Naidu. Pallavi being a grand student was fortunate to receive training and perform with Guru Padma Shri Dr Shobha Naidu. Pallavi portrayed various roles along with Guru Shobha Naidu in her ballets of which a few are Krishna in Sri Krishna Parijatam, Sita in Jagadananda Karaka, Shiva in and Yerukasani in Srinivasa Kalyanam and many more. In 2019, she completed her master's in Kuchipudi dance from University of Silicon Andhra, California. Pallavi has performed in several prestigious dance festivals in Singapore, Malaysia, Sri Lanka, Dubai, Missouri, California and many more. She is the recipient of several awards including Singer Money, Ritya Archana, GVR Foundation Youth Award and was one of the few chosen dancers selected to advance her studies in Kuchipudi by the government of India. Today, Pallavi continues to perform and as a dedicated teacher, passing on her knowledge of this art form to the younger generation in the city of Charlotte, North Carolina. Today's invocation piece chosen by Pallavi is Sri Vigna Rajam Bhaje. Like any other traditional invocatory item, this piece is in praise of Lord Ganesha the remover of obstacles the dancer pays salutations to the lord and the audience present 
Song set to Gambhir and Ataragam in Khanda Chakutalam. Composed by Uttukadu Venkata Subbayar. Choreography, of course, by Guru Padmasri, Dr. Shabha Naidu. Ladies and gentlemen, sit back, relax and enjoy this grand show. Welcome Pallavi to speak few words, Nana. Namaste. I feel privileged today and honored to be part of today's event, Guru Beyond Namaha, Shobhahe Manam. Um, amidst some of the best students of Padma Shri Dr. Shobha Naidu. I, it's, it's such a privilege to be part of this event today. I share a very special bond with teacher of being grand student, one of the first grand students at the academy. Teacher always proudly introduced me as Pallavi Manabharati Kutru. This gave me so much happiness every time teacher introduced me. That is the bond she shares, not just with her students, but her grand students as well. She trusted me and gave me many opportunities to perform um, along with her in her productions. But I would like to share one such, one uh, very great memory, I mean, good memory to cherish. That is uh, due to some unavoidable circumstances, teacher couldn't perform Sri Krishna Bharijatam and said, Pallavi, nu Satyabhamaga chestava. That night, I had a sleepless night and said, teacher, I don't think I can live up to your expectations. And teacher said, she gave me confidence and said, Neda Ma, you can do it. And she was the one who sat, I still remember on Ravindra Bharati stage, she sat to my right throughout the performance so I could see her and take blessings after every scene. This memory, I can never forget and cherish forever. And um, it's with heavy heart that I miss teacher so much because I think I can proudly say that teacher shares a very special bond with grand students when compared to her actual students. This I can confidently say. And whenever I text her, I mean, the amount of um, love and affection that I receive from her, I mean, I'm so happy. I always get a big smile on my face. And today, with that being said, I'm also performing a song, Sri Vignarajan Bade, which is first choreography piece of our dear guru. And um, how, I mean, uh, what else uh, can I tell about teacher? I can go on and on, but today, please watch my Sri Vigna Rajambaje, our dear teacher's first choreography. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Pallavi. That was a beautiful start. I'm sure for all those people that have uh, just joined, I'm sure you're all looking forward to what could be coming next. I'm trying to make sure if someone else is speaking, am I, am I cutting somebody? Uh, this is one of the treasured uh, uh, choreographies, which uh, we of Madam Garu, uh, Teacher Garu. Uh, we are fortunate to be there in the academy during that time. And uh, I see so much difference in each of the Ganesha piece she has choreographed till now. Hmm. Each one has its own flavor. Each one comes with a different musicality and the way she approaches. Yet, even being Ganesha item, she chooses it to be very graceful and makes it so beautiful. So I this is one of the beautiful items uh, that we have learned. Though they say it is first, it was one of the most performed in 90s to 2000 item by teacher Garu herself and brings back so many memories. Thank you, Pallavi. That is wonderful to know, Sri Lata Garu. Thanks for adding that information. And yes, you are right. Every choreography, you can see that grace. I think that's her signature. Grace and elegance and that beauty. That's her signature. That's that's her. Uh, that is what is Dr. Shobha Naid Garu. So once again, uh, welcome to everybody that have joined us this evening via either Facebook or YouTube, however. We welcome you to this beautiful evening one more time. Um, so let me now uh, go on to the next item. Let me introduce you the next dancer. The next coming up is Srimati Sailaja Chaudhary. She's the founder and artistic director of, the, of Sri Kuchipudi Natalia Dance Academy in Greater Boston area, a prolific and award-winning dancer, teacher, and choreographer for the past 25 years. Sailaja has directed and composed many unique Kuchpudi dance from the knowledge and traditions of Kuchpudi to the next generation. Sailaja holds a master's degree in Kuchpudi classical dance as well as a bachelor's degree in Bharatanatyam from Telugu University of Hyderabad. Early in her career, Sailaja earned countless accolades for her performances, including the honorary title Singar Mani, Singar Mani by the Singer Samsad Organization the Young Talent Arts Scholarship Award from Government of India, as well as the Natya Visharada Award from the Kuchpudi Art Academy in Hyderabad. Sailaja's passion lies with teaching and choreography, where she's constantly pushing the boundaries of the ancient art form of Kuchpudi to find unique ways of connecting with her students and contemporary audiences. Like a true guru, she guides her students to connect with Indian culture and pushes them to perfection and success in all areas of their life through college and beyond. Her dedication to serving her community led her to instill the ideology in her students to always dance for a cause. These teachings have driven her students to always use their talent for the greater good and towards philanthropic endeavors. And this is a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful journey, I must say. The next dance item presented to you by Salija is very popular number, Swagatam Krishna, lyrics by Sri Utguru Venkata Subaya, choreography by Padmasri Dr. Shobha Naidgaru, set to Raga Malika in Aditaram. In this item, the dancer portrays various scenes from Krishna's childhood. In the first episode, the dancer enacts various gopikas who surround Krishna and show their admiration for him in different ways. In the next episode, the dancer portrays Krishna in the palace of King Kamsa, his uncle and enemy. Kamsa, who is afraid of a prophecy that he will be ultimately killed by Krishna, sends two wrestlers to kill his nephew. Despite their might, Krishna is able to successfully defeat these enemies. The dancer then portrays a series of incarnations of Vishnu and concludes the dance with a scene where Krishna teases the gopikas carrying water. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome... Sailor Jigaru to say a few words before we begin the dance. Guru uh, Bhyam I uh, am very fortunate to be uh, part of this Karti Kamasa Shobha Manam. Uh, we all uh, 
were um, very fortunate to have the lineage and um, the uh, inheritance of our great guru, uh, Shobha Naidu Garu. Not only that, I um, many times I thank God for just being part of this time of the history where great souls um, have come in union to bring this art form to the next level. And uh, we all got to experience the bliss of that and the opportunity didn't stop there. We are, uh, we, many of us were also part of their lives and, and got opportunity to live with them and also get inspired by them and lead by their example into our next stage of life. Uh, as many mentioned, uh, my guru is not just a guru for our art. She's a mother, she's a mentor, and she's somebody that always constantly grounded us. Uh, so every time there is a performance, uh, many used to say this, and, and not only just for me, for many students, I'm sure they have this experience. We used to mimic her to an extent that people used to say, oh, you all look like your guru. You look like Shobha Naidu Garu. And that used to give us so much happiness. But at the same time, uh, she challenged us and said, uh, what else could you do? One of my great memories that uh, I think my guru challenged me and uh, let me explore in that area of the art form is uh, in 1992, there was a performance in Vijayanagaram. And that was my first time when I played the role of Brahma. And before performance, just 20 minutes before performance, we all put our bells in front of the garden. Uh, we, she does the puja and she offers the bells to us. And she just screens us uh, from top to bottom and says, okay, you are ready. Oh, your mukku is missing. Oh, your flowers are not right. So that is how she used to do. And she looked at me and, and immediately she turned her t head to one of our seniors. And I just looked at my, myself in the mirror and no wonder I'm looking like a female person in all the crown and all the decked uh, Brahma costume. And uh, I was so shaken. I finished the performance, but um, that's it. The next performance, two days after we had it in Vizag, and I am no Brahma there. <laughs> she replaced someone else. And that challenged me. And I kept asking, what is that I need to do to get into the male role? Uh, again, there was an opportunity in 95 when uh, there was a Kalyana Srinivasan performance that was about to be played. And then she said, um, they, we did not have anybody to replace. Usually we had uh, Ragwa Garu or Ramu Garu. They used to play the roles and they were not available at that time. So we had to uh, find someone. So then I dared with, with atmosphere, I dared to ask her, teacher Garu, can I try the Shiva role? Then she, she looked at me down to the top to bottom and said, yeah, but it's not, I'm not sure if you can make it. So with great fear, I stood um, and and practiced and said, I, I, I want to try teacher. So can I show you in the rehearsals? Even if you say, no, I'm, I'm okay. So with great effort, I, I practiced the whole uh, two nights and I I was literally shivering and I still remember my, my memory of that. Uh, I played it and she finally said yes. But during the time when the gajalu were given again, she looked at top to bottom. And again, I, I can see the doubt in her mind, <laughs> in her eyes. But fortunately, God's grace uh, to Shiva's grace and my guru's grace, because she challenged me on that, I did change my mannerisms into so masculine, this thing. And I I, I hope I was able to satisfy her. And after that, she didn't, so she didn't doubt me into that. To, as you are sharing your experience, I mean, we can see that uh, how, how how much you cherish those. Thank you so much for sharing that information. Thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.
such a beautiful item uh, prayer and most uh, uh, performed item of teacher garu uh, very intense choreography if you have seen the the uh, sancharis flow with so much of fluidity and the way she has uh, the knowledge of literature and how she has aptly used the sancharis and mm-hmm. also the, the savataram uh, has added to this beautiful choreography uh and um, i think this was very um sort out of choreography and very known choreography of guru shobha naidu garu i see well done chalita beautiful and this elvi garu thank you so much for presenting another wonderful piece so let me quickly move on to the next dancer sri vidya santana sri vidya started learning dance at the age of 5 and received formal training in kuchipudi A disciple of Padma Shri Dr. Shobha Naidu, she has performed extensively both as a solo performer and in dance drama, dance drama productions. She has played key roles in many of her guru Dr. Shobha Naidu's production, uh, Kalyana Srinivasan, Pandalika, Chira Sagra Mathanam, Sarvam Sai Mayam, Sri Krishna Sadam Mama. And between 2010 and 2012, she continued her journey in Kuchpudi under the mentorship of Mrs. Lakshmi Babu, senior student of Padma Shri, Dr. Shubha Nair Garu, and director of Kuchpudi Dance Academy, fondly called as KDA. She performed lead roles in Ugadi Vaibhavamu and Deepavali, choreographies of Mrs. Lakshmi Babu. Sri Vijay is also trained in Carnatic vocal, helping her better understand the intricacies of music compositions that drive dance choreographies and presentations. A civil engineer by profession, Sri Vijay currently resides in San Diego, California. Her family and friends offer tremendous support and continue to motivate her in pursuing her passion for dance. The next item to be performed by Sri Vijay is Ganesha Pancharatnam. Ganesha Pancharatnam is a five set shloka composed by sri adi shankara the shlokas clearly explain the qualities and nature of lord ganesha along with the benefits of reciting the shlokas the delightful elephant god is described and praised as the killer of demons protector of gods and refuge of his devotees the last part of ganesha pancharatnam explains that whoever recites the shlokas will be bestowed with good health wealth and knowledge set in ragamalika aditalam choreographed by padma shri dr shobha naidgar i now call upon uh, sri vijigaru to say few words so we can uh, get to watch the beautiful dance piece andariki namaskaram uh, it is an honor to be part of this beautiful tribute to our teacher um, there are many memories learnings and experiences uh, to share but i wanted to share an experience that is uh, close to my heart Uh, as it touches uh, multiple aspects uh, while learning dance i was also learning carnatic vocal teacher happened to listen to my voice time period she was also learning uh, music from master garu 
our music session sometimes uh, happened to coincide um, and i got to witness two legends in the same room learning from each other uh, and sharing their uh, thoughts and love for various art forms uh, these small interactions are uh, something that i think will stick with me forever and pushes me to pursue both the art forms um, the item that i'm presenting today here is uh, ganesha pancharatnam what i remember vividly is that every time we practiced and performed in front of teacher uh, when it came to the part kripa karam shama karam muda karam yashash karam she would completely be involved um, in and, and be in a different world uh, during the natuangam and singing if i have to guess i think that is her favorite uh, part of the composition uh, i hope you enjoy the piece and thank you for this wonderful opportunity uh, i uh, also thank my family and friends for their continued support without which i wouldn't be able to continue my dance journey thank you
పరుగుల లైఫ్ కి మీకు సరైన రిక్రియేషన్ అని అడిగితే నచ్చే ఎందుకంటే ఉరుకుల పరుగులు తీసి ఇంటికి వెళ్ళి రెస్ట్ తీసుకుంటే ఆ రెస్ట్ కంటే కూడా ఇట్లాంటి చక్కగా ఇన్స్టిట్యూషన్ కి వచ్చేసి వాళ్ళకి నృత్యం చేస్తూ ఉంటే అటు శరీరం మనసు రెండింటికి ఒక యోగా లాంటిది ఇది అది నిజమైన రిలాక్సేషన్ అనమాట ఆ తర్వాత ఇంటికి వెళ్ళి హాయిగా చదువుకొని పడుకుంటారు అందువల్ల నృత్యం అనేది హాబీగా తీసుకోవటం అనేది చాలా తప్పు ఇది హాబీ కాదు ఇది భగవంతుడికి మనిషికి ఉన్న ఒక అలాంటి అనుబంధం దాన్ని ఒక దైవాన్ని ఒక దైవాన్ని మనం ఎలా గౌరవిస్తాం అలాగే కళం తీసుకోవాలి ఆ తర్వాత అది నేర్చుకొని ప్రదర్శనలు ఇచ్చి తర్వాత అంతటితో వదిలేయకుండా నలుగురికి నేర్పిస్తే అది నెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్కి అలా పాస్ ఆన్ చేయగలిగితే మనం పుట్టినందుకు ఈ జన్మకి 
సార్థకత ఏర్పడినట్లు ఈ ఉరుకుల పరుగుల లైఫ్కి మీకు సరైన రిక్రియేషన్ అని అడిగితే నచ్చాయి ఎందుకంటే ఉరుకుల పరుగులు తీసి ఇంటికి I would like to ta- thank Sri Vidya for giving us this uh, opportunity to see the Ganesha Pancharatnam again. This uh, Ganesha Pancharatnam, teacher has done uh, the choreography so nicely. When we, two patterns that we follow, uh, she set it so systematically after each of the charanams. So this is one of the comments uh, and... Uh, by Sri Kishore Masali Kantigaru. When he saw this item, he was really very um, amazed with her thought process. And he made a note and he wanted to talk to teacher, uh, especially on her choreographies, because he happens to see some of her choreographies. And he said it was a brilliant use of pattern here. Mm-hmm. And I really observed that today. She made it so special. So the touch of speciality and difference in choreography um, in each of her items of Ganesha can be highlighted here. Well done. Thank you. Definitely, Andy. Uh, Srilita Garu, first of all, uh, every time you're talking about, you know, the intricacies of the choreography and the pieces that we need to focus, it just... gives us a immense pleasure thank you so much for sharing that and we also would like to thank all our sponsors once again for helping us uh, present this grand event and uh, welcome one and all one more time whoever would have connected with us i'm sure you all are uh, enjoying this show let's continue this beautiful journey let me have the privilege to um, introduce the next dancer so let's talk about shrimati pushyami gotti party next she will be the uh artist that's coming up next the pushyami gotti patigaru is the artistic director of sri kuchipudi nrityalaya pushyami's interest in classical dance was cultivated by her mother who is an accomplished performer herself pushyami credits her mother to impart in her the essence of divinity embedded within the classical dance pushyami began training under the able guidance of shrimati sumitra patisarathi at the age of 6 She is immensely fortunate to have been trained by renowned gurus Admasri Dr Shobha Naidgaru Padma Bhushan Dr Venpati Chinna Satyangaru and his disciple Manju Kumar Malini She has performed at many major sabhas conventions and fe- festivals all over India and in the US At the age of 16 she accompanied her guru Shobha Naidgaru in her US tour Pushami has made her mark in this field with her abhinaya grace and flawless sense of rhythm She is an excellent teacher, choreographer and a performer. She has won many accolades for her novel thematic presentations. Srimati Pushyami believes dance is a medium for oneself to connect to the cosmic energy and experience eternal bliss. Pushyami yearns to serve Kuchipudi, the passion of her life by nurturing youngsters, the budding dancers who love Indian cultural heritage and classical dance tradition. Presently she devotes all her time and energy to fulfill this noble cause and aspires to hand over the baton to those willing to preserve the richness of this divine art form in all its glory. She holds a master's degree in computer science and is currently pursuing masters in Kuchipudi. I would like to call Pushyami Garu to please say a few words and then I want to introduce another dancer who will be joining her. Shri Guru Bion Namaha I consider myself extremely blessed to be one of um, our guru Dr Padmasri Doc- Padmasri Dr Shobha Naidu garu to be her student and to share the stage with her is something that is a blessing to me um teacher has entrusted me with uh, major roles in all the productions very early in my career so her confidence in me has instilled a constant thirst of becoming better at my craft till today i have learned so much just by watching her she always led by example when i think of teacher garu it's not just dance that she has blessed me with the loving bond that we share the academy students the relationships the friendships 
of over the decades, the family that we are a part of is something that I cherish forever. She, she was, and she will always be my inspiration. The item we will be performing today is Nandanandana Gopala. This was uh, allotted to me, the uh, one small uh, experience. This is the last item that I went back and performed in the academy I was practicing. And at that time, it, I happened to um, practice this with Nitya, whom I'm going to be performing. Again, it just happened as a coincidence that after about 10 years or so, me and Nitya got picked to do this item. I think there definitely is a purpose behind this. So hope you enjoy it as much as we did performing. Thank you. Definitely so, and and Nikushumigaru. And I'm sure, um, like uh, Shokana Edgaru just said, this is like yoga. Yoga is, you know, becoming one with the, the divine force. And I'm, I'm, I'm sure there must be some reason for even this grand occasion today. All right, so let me now uh, invite the other dancer. And before I invite her, just a few words about her. Srimati Nitya Golapuri. She's the one who's going to join Pushamigaru just within a few uh, minutes here. Nitya today is one of the upcoming performers of Kuchpudi dance. Her strength lies in her total dedication to the exacting genre of classical bass. Having trained by fiercely uncompromising purist, Nit Nitya is highly imaginative with a sense of deep involvement but without losing contact with contemporary taste and sensibilities. She has been learning Kuchpudi dance under the world celebrated Kuchpudi exponent, Admistry Dr. Shobhana Ilgaru at Srinivasa Kuchpudi Art Academy, Hyderabad since 2000. Her major achievements are Ministry of Culture, Government of India Scholarship for Young Artists 2011 and 12, Durdarshan Graded Artist Be High, Guru Sishya Puraskar Government of Andhra Pradesh 2014, Ritya Vilasani title 2012, National Ritya Mani title 2012, Pandit Jasraj Award 2011, Natya Vicharada 2009, Jawaharlal Nehru Award Balistri 2007. She was one of the main protagonists and donned various roles like Padmavati in Kalyana Srinivasam, Sita in Jagadan and the Karaka, Narada in Kalyana Srinivasam, and many more. And she has also won many, many awards and great appreciation from her teacher. Her performances won accolades not only in the motherland, but also all around the world. Nitya has presented a series of performances at different venues in the USA, sponsored by Arta, Nats, who are our sponsors this evening as well, along with her guru, Padma Sri Dr. Shobha Naidgar. As a dedicated teacher at her Guru's Academy in Hyderabad, she had supported the Guru in every possible way, as in training students for academy productions, which she considers to be a golden fortune to be able to serve the Guru and the art in turn. As an artist in the Valley of Sun, Phoenix, Arizona, USA, she's currently pursuing masters in Kuchpudi dance from University of Silicon Andhra, California, USA, being a design engineer at Intel. Nitya acquired a master's degree in electrical engineering. Nitya believes that learning any art will not hamper but cooperates for academic excellence. Having received a Board of Intermediate Scholarship for university merit students during her 12th grade, she attended JNTU Hyderabad University for bachelor's degree in electronics and communication engineering. She wants to serve her best in the field of VLSI and classical dance, perfectly balancing her profession and passion. One of the most traditional dance items is what we are going to witness just within a few minutes here. But let me call upon Nitya to just uh, quickly say a few words so we can uh, all enjoy the dance. Namaskar. In my journey with Madam, I went from playing an elephant mask, hind legs, to Padmavati beside her. Just like the distance between those two roles in the ballet Kalyan Sri Kalyasi, the distance between us shrunk over the many years. I vividly remember when I was a maid, 15 year old me, coming back to Madam after successfully performing this item that we have been chosen to do today, Nandanandana, along with other numbers in Andaman and Nicobar Islands, all by myself on behalf of Department of Culture, Andhra Pradesh. He said, this right here is the only true gift you can ever give me to make sure Kuchipudi is being performed 
and cherished in all corners of the world. Thank you, madam, for being my guru, maternal figure, philosopher, role model, life coach, and leaving me with so many great memories that I will cherish so close to my heart for the rest of my life. Ma guru kari sohani smaristu, manan jarpukane yi sohaya manam ki na hrudeya purvati krupagna. Thanks, Andy. So the item that we, we are going to witness right now, let me just uh, give you a quick overview of what that is. One of the most traditional items of Kuchpuri, and it's called Tarangam, which means the waves of Lord Krishna's play. The present Tarangam is a composition by St. Narayana Tirtha. In this piece, the dancer shows the different episodes of Lord Sri Krishna as a naughty child. This piece shows in detail how Krishna escapes from his mother after stealing butter and the second episode depicts lifting of Govardhana mountain to protect his devotees, how he protects the devotees by releasing them from the ties. Sri Krishna is not only known for his leelas or the miracles but also for the fascinating dance. Here the dancers take the form of Nartana Krishna and execute the various rhythmic patterns of the footwork. Let's watch this delight in the combination of these two great dancers, Srimati Pushyamilanka and Srimati Nityagalapudi, presenting Narayana Tirtha Tarangam in Ragamalika, set to Aditalam. Smita Lalita Kapoola Smita Sangeeta Go, Pala, Navani, the Chora, 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 Go,
ಗೋಪಾಲ ಜಯನ ಬಲಿತ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಸಂಗೀತ 
well presented creatively by both uh, Pushyami and uh, Nitya. Uh, I have a lot to say about this item because I, the beautiful Sancharis teacher used, very common uh, Sancharis, but the way she has used with, uh, with her creativity and being such a phallic uh, Abhinaya exponent she put the natural feelings of Ashoda and Krishna. And I always uh, watched many, including Pranamya, when they perform, and always thought teacher has, uh, was, uh, uh, has used this creativity with her own experience of having uh, Anju as a small kid. And when she was rearing her and when she was taking care of her, all that uh, childhood uh, things she has put in this uh, tarangam and uh, this is one of her first uh, tarangam choreographies oh. uh, she has also done the variations of krishna from the small krishna the way the krishna has behaved when he was doing the uh, stealing of the water to how he lifted the govardhana the beautiful music she has used yeah. while lifting adds to the beauty of this beautiful item. Enjoy so, it thoroughly. So true, Andy. And I, I loved the, the Swaram's uh, uh, choreography. Last Lochina Swaral Vigra. Chala beautiful. Thank you so much for presenting it so wonderfully. Once again, I um, really want to thank the organizers for this great event. So since we are almost pretty much pretty pretty far in the in terms of time but we do have a lot of other dancers that are lined up let me now uh, introduce the next dancer mrs usha goteti mrs usha is an inspiring teacher performer and choreographer she has learned dance since the age of four from renowned guru padmasri dr shobhan Garu. Srimati usha received a master's in kuchpudi from the university of hyderabad along with distinction of earning a gold medal Usha has won several awards, including Natya Bala and Natya Visarada. She received the prestigious CCRT scholarship as well. She gave innumerable solo performances and has performed at major dance festivals. She performed the lead role as Sita in Jagadananda Karaka, Uttadi Bhamma in Jayostute Nari, Narada in Sri Krishna Parijatam, Radha in Sri Krishna Sarnam Mama, alongside her teacher, Dr. Shobhan Adgar. At the age of eight, she performed the lead role as a child artist where she narrates the story of Ayappa through dance in 
popular dance, uh, popular devotional movie, Ayyappa Swami Mahatyam. I now call upon Mrs. Usha Garu to speak a few words and then we will watch her dance. Shri Guru Pyo Namaha, Shri Guru Pyo I am a very big fan of uh, Teacher Garu's expressions. Uh, I remember, like, you know, when I was a small girl, I remember watching her expressions, sitting in a corner, and trying to imitate her later. Uh, Vijay Siddhinari, when it was first premiered, I was given a role, Puttadabhama Purnama, where in the last scene, I have to cry and um, show uh, Virakti Bhavan which was not very easy for me then. Um, in, uh, when it was premiered, like uh, in the last, after the end of the last scene, teacher was uh, behind uh, orchestra and clapping, at, like, the scene was done and I'm still on the stage, the lights were off. I saw teacher Garu clapping along with the audience. That was a very touching moment for me. Uh, it was more to me than anything else. She was like a motherly figure for me. Uh, I was uh, nine year old when I you know, went to Delhi along with a lot, you know, all the seniors, Dodaka, Yashadaka. So she used to take care of me so much that I didn't even cry during that um, travel. Uh, and whenever I visited her, she used to say only one thing, Usha, uh, continue dance, don't uh, stop in between, um, promote Kuchpudi as much as you can. Teacher Garu, I will definitely continue to do that. Um, with your blessings. I really miss you so much. Thank you so much for sharing that, Ali. And so Ushakaru is now presenting a very popular Annamaya Kriti, Okapari Okapari, in Karahara Priya Ragam, set to Aditaram. In this item, the artist pleads to Lord Venkateshwara, residing in seven hills of Tirupati, to have mercy and protect his devotee. She further describes him as the one who came to rescue the Gajendra and as the one who is rich in fulfilling the wishes of his devotees. While describing the Lord as the merciful Rama, the one who blessed Sebari with salvation, the choreography beautifully brings out the storytelling element of Kuchpudi by elaborating and narrating the story of Sebari, where Sebari eagerly waits for the arrival of Lord Rama and Fawn leads him upon arrival. Further seeks salvation. Thank you. 
Atta, thank you so much, Atta, for sponsoring this this segment. And of course, all our sponsors, once again, we would like to thank all of you for sponsoring this event. So the Okapari, Okapari Kokapari Annamaya Kirtana that we have seen just now in a beautiful uh, choreography, let me just uh, give you a quick brief once again uh, of what that item was about. Okapari is an Anamachari Kirtana, one of the many songs composed in dedication to Lord Venkateshwara. In this piece, the dancer admires how beautiful Lord Venkateshwara and his wife Alamelumanga are together, forming a charishma as bright as the moon. When he is with his beloved something. This is a Sringara Kirtana by Anamaya and beautifully and aesthetically choreographed by my guru Shobha Nairugaru. This has elements of Shrungara conveyed by both male and female by just a solo dancer along with the Saki. So the three characters, Teacher Garu has used it so effectively and it is very difficult to transfer from one Shrungara, the uh, gate, from the gate she has transferred the whole uh, line of the Shrungaram to a male, to a female. And the Karpura thing is her own imagination of imagining the Lord in the dust of the camphor. So beautifully done. Very beautiful. Thank you uh, for presenting it so beautifully. And uh, we can... Uh, Janaki, okay, next time. Yeah. Janaki Garu, thank you very much for presenting it so beautifully. So the next dancer we have lined up is Vijayagaru. Vijayagaru, the gifted daughter of Sri S. Prem Kumar and Sri Gnaneshwari, has started learning Kuchpuri dance from the age of 14 under the able guidance of Padma Sri Dr. Shobha Nairgaru. She's been undergoing rigorous training since then and was awarded a gold medal in the year 2006. She finished the Natya Visarada course from Srinivasa Kuchpudi Art Academy, Hyderabad in 2007. She was privileged to conduct summer classes in the academy. Presently, being one of the senior students of the academy, she's handling regular weekend classes for juniors. She has been actively participating in the Sadhana program too, conducted by Sri Venkateshwara Bhakti Channel on the television. Alongside her guru, she performed at various venues in different roles, such as Saraswati, Brahma, Pakula, Sakin, Kalyana Srinivasam, as Radha Bai, Lakshmi Bai in Sarvam Sai Mayam, as a vendor in Chandalika, as Rati, Parvati in Navarasa Natabhamini, as Kausalya Sabari in Jagadananda Karaka, as Radha in Sri Krishna Sadam Mama, as a dancer in Sambhavami Yuge Yuge, as Rukmini in Sri Krishna Parijatam, and many more. Vijaya was an integral part of Dr. Shokha Nairu's entourage on numerous occasions like Konak Festival, Hampi Utsav, Stambhadri Utsav programs organized by AP cultural organizations, Pick McKay programs, etc. She has participated in the Silver Jubilee celebrations of the Academy in 2006. She gave performances in Delhi, Bangalore, Shirdi, Tirupati, Vizag, and also at other venues in Andhra Pradesh. She has recently performed in Nada Nirajanam program arranged by Tirumala Tirupati Devasthanam, Tirupati. She's a recipient of the Guinness World Record Certificate 2010 organized by Silicon Andhra Kuchpuri Convention Center, Hyderabad. Before I talk about the item that she is going to present, I would like Vijayagaru to say a few words quickly, please. Sri Kuripyo Namaha. Andariki Namaskaru. Teacher Garu Naku Oka Guru. Oka Mentor. Oka... जुगलबंदी <laughs> प्रयाणी 
ఏదైతే పీరియడ్ ఉందో ఇట్ వాస్ వెరీ మెమరబుల్ అండ్ ఐ చెరిష్ టు అవర్ మై లైఫ్ ఐ టేక్ దిస్ ప్రివిలేజ్ టు థ్యాంక్ మై ఫ్యామిలీ టు గివ్ మీ టు హెల్ప్ మీ అండ్ గివింగ్ మీ దిస్ ఆపర్చునిటీ అండ్ ఐ వుడ్ లైక్ టు థ్యాంక్ మై సీనియర్స్ అండ్ టుడే ఐ హావ్ సెలెక్టెడ్ ద ఐటమ్ శ్రీ రాజరాజేశ్వరి అష్టకం టు ప్రెజెంట్ ఇన్ ఫ్రంట్ ఆఫ్ యూ అండ్ థాంక్స్ అండి యా ఐ టచ్ ద లోటస్ ఫీట్ ఆఫ్ మై గురు అండ్ ఓవర్ టు యూ మాత్రం థాంక్ యూ విజయ గారు సో ద కమ్ లెంత్ ద డివైన్ బ్యూటీ అండ్ గ్రేస్ ఆఫ్ గాడ్ ఇస్ రాజరాజేశ్వరి God is Parvati, the dearest consort of Lord Shiva is also known as Shakti Swarupini or embodiment of power. The goddess is described for her grace, graceful movements as she wears anklets and is adorned with diamond studded bangles and a variety of flowers. She enjoys the music of Veena and the flute. At the same time, she is the valorous one who kills or destroys demons or the evil forces as Raudri the angered one and as bhadrakali the powerful one for weapons she holds the trisula or the trident and the bow and arrow she is also worshiped by goddess of wealth lakshmi and by goddess of learning saraswati please enjoy this beautiful piece ఆ uh-huh. 
That was a beautiful, beautiful piece. Shilitagar, I was just waiting for you to uh, talk about this one. But I guess we have uh, very less time. So let's quickly go to the next item. Thank you so much, Wendy, for the beautiful presentation. The next one is Niharika Pindikanti. Niharika Pindikanti is the founder and artistic director of Sita School of Indian Traditional Arts located in Southern California. Niharika started her dance journey at the age of four and has learned Bharatanatyam and Kuchipudi. She's been teaching the Kuchipudi art form for over 20 years and her dance journey included teaching, acting, choreography, directing, music videos, dance dramas, etc. Niharika Pindikanti is also the founder and president of A Friend in Me, a non-profit organization that caters to the society, uh, social needs of children with life-threatening illness and undergoing prolonged hospital treatments. Niharika is presenting Annamacharya Kirtana, Jo Achyutananda. But before I talk about that item, let me please call Niharika Gar to just say a few words. Thank you, Rajeshwari. Um, I feel like I'm back at the academy with all the alumni. Teaching <laughs> our daughters dance and life through dance. 
She taught us many on stage and many off stage. This song and the memories around it are extremely special to me in many ways. Um, I want to share a personal story actually, um, best for being bullied for my weight and I broke down. Teacher hugged me tight. She told me to never ever give any person in this world the power to define me or to control me. I follow that till today and I pass it on to my students as well. The song is also very special as I was the first one and probably the only one to perform this song on the stage. This song is also very dear to me as I learned this directly from Teacher Garu as she was choreographing it on me. That is wonderful. This, that is um, no. I just want to add a small note. This audio, it's not a studio recording. I apologize. But I chose this because you can actually hear Teacher Garu's voice singing and doing Natwangam in this song. Oh, okay. Um, Thank you, Teacher Garu, for this wonderful gift of yours to me. Guru Pyonama. That's a wonderful story. Thanks for sharing that. So the item that Niharika Garu is presenting is uh, Anama Chari Kirtana. It's Jo Achyutananda in Kapi Jagam in Khandas Chaputalam. Another beautiful choreography by Guru Padma Sri Dr. Shobha Naid Garu. This is a popular lullaby for the Lord Venkatesha describing his childhood leelas during Krishnavatara. This, the dancer reminisces on those wonderful memories. Krishna is pampered by the beautiful women as he plays at Nanda's house. She asks him to play in her front yard as she will give him milk and a golden ball. She praises the Lord as he lifts the whole Govardhana as an umbrella. He has defeated the arrogant Kamsa and ruled over the Mathura city with grandeur. Enjoy this beautiful dance item. Oh, <laughs> 
You're saying something about this. I see you unmuted yourself. So <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to say how beautiful variation of Vasalya Rasa teacher has shown here from what we saw in Nanda Nandana. From True. the angry mother to the beautiful, beautifully, yeah. beautifully done, Harika. Thank you. It is so hard to imagine this lullaby in the dance form and the choreography was just brilliant. Thank you so much, Niharika. Thanks a lot. So uh, the next dancer that I'm going to introduce is Harita Kulkarni. She started learning dance at the age of 10. She was trained by Dr. Shobha Nairgaru and gave many, many performances. She has a diploma in dance from Kota Sri Ramlu University from Hyderabad and teaches dance in Atlanta while working as a software engineer. Before I talk about the item that she's going to present, let me call upon Harita Gar to say a few words quickly, please. Shri Guru Pyo Namaha, Andhra Ki Namaskaram. 
Uh, my journey started with teacher is from early 90s to late 90s. And I stayed in academy, academy hostel. Initially, when I joined academy, she said that I'm going to test uh, you. And then if you are capable, then you can stay here and learn dance. Or else you have to go back to your home. And after one week of that, and they were doing a program, rehearsal for a Bangalore program. And she asked me, OK, uh, what are you learning? I said, a second jati. OK, can you show me? And then I show it to her. And as soon as she, I show the jati, and uh, she asked me a couple more jatis to do it. And then she, she said, OK, this is Bangalore program lo character. Bandi. So within that period, like within a two weeks, I went. my first program was in uh, Bangalore with a teacher. And I called my parents, and I said, OK, I selected for a program. Wow. And uh, I'm going to stay in academy. I'm not coming back home. And the second uh, memorable moment is uh, one of the, um, uh, during the Chennai Indian Classical Dance Festival, December, mid-December to mid-January, we performed Bama Kalabam. And everybody came back and just me, Shaila Jack and teachers stayed back in Chennai for one week to watch all other programs. During that time, we got a chance to meet uh, Dr. M.S. Subalakshmi with uh, my beloved guru. Uh, so we were very blessed to meet yeah. one more like a legend, a divine person in this, uh, like, you know, life and what else we needed. And True. today we are here with our teacher because of our teacher and teacher, we will perform and we will continue with your blessings. Wonderful, Andy. Thank you for sharing beautiful stories all over here. So the item that uh, she's going to present is extremely popular, Tilana, in Dhanashri Ragam set to Adi Talam, composed by Maharaja Swati Tirunal, is a ritta based item. It's a unique and beautiful tilana with intricate rhythmic structure interwoven with melodious swarams, concluding with praise to Lord Padmanabha, who protects us from all miseries and obstacles, which is much needed in these present times. So over to that beautiful dance item.
అందరికీ కూడా ఆయన ఆత్మ బంధువు ఆయన ఎక్కడి నుంచో అక్కడి నుంచో వచ్చి ఇక్కడ అరేంజ్ చేయడం అనేది చాలా గొప్ప విషయం అండి అది సంవత్సరం సంవత్సరం నుంచి ప్లాన్ చేసుకుంటారు ఆయన అందరికీ పంపించి వాళ్ళు సీడీలు పంపించి వాళ్ళు నేర్చుకొని అక్కడికి వచ్చి వాళ్ళు పర్ఫామ్ చేసి మా సీనియర్ ఆర్టిస్టులు వేరే పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఇవేళ ఒక పర్ఫార్మెన్స్ అలా ప్లాన్గా చేసుకుంటారు ఆనంద్ గారు అది టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వెల్వ్లో జరిగింది టూ థౌజండ్ టెన్లో జరిగింది ఫస్ట్ లాస్ ఏంజల్స్లో చేశారు తర్వాత హైదరాబాద్ మళ్ళీ మొన్న హైదరాబాద్ మళ్ళీ టూ థౌజండ్ ఫోర్టీన్లో కూడా చేస్తున్నారు అది ఎక్కడెక్కడ అన్ని వేల మంది చేయడం అనేది చాలా ఒక అద్భుతమైన విషయం అంద ఆ గ్రౌండ్లో గచ్చిబౌళి ఆగ్ర స్టేడియంలో చేయటం ఆ చిన్న చిన్న పిల్లల దగ్గర నుంచి నలభై ఏళ్ళ వారు వాళ్ళ వరకు చేయటం ఒక అద్భుతమైన విషయం అలాంటివి ఇక్కడ జరగాలని నాకు కోరిక సో వండర్ఫుల్ ఆవిడ అలా చూస్తూ మై మర్చిపోయాను నేను ఫర్ వైల్ థ్యాంక్స్ అండి థ్యాంక్స్ ఫర్ దట్ బ్యూటిఫుల్ తిల్లానా ఇట్ వాస్ సో బ్యూటిఫుల్ టు వాచ్ ఇట్ వి వుడ్ లైక్ టు థ్యాంక్ ఆల్ అవర్ స్పాన్సర్స్ వన్ మోర్ టైమ్ ఫర్ యువర్ గ్రేట్ సపోర్ట్ వితౌట్ విచ్ దిస్ ఈవెంట్ ఇస్ నాట్ యాజ్ ఈజీ వి ఆర్ ఎంటైర్ టీమ్ లవ్ టు థ్యాంక్ ఈచ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఆఫ్ అవర్ స్పాన్సర్స్ సో ద నెక్స్ట్ ఐటమ్ that's coming up that uh, let me first introduce the artist purnima dasri garu shrimati purnima dasri is an accomplished performer and a teacher she is the artistic director of kuchpuri art academy she started training at a very young age and has earned the trust and love of her guru padmasri dr shobha naidu garu with her dedication towards the art form she participated in major festivals like ajuraho sursingarmani and many many more She has done major roles in all the ballets with her guru. She has also traveled extensively to many countries as part of Guru's troupe. She belongs to the Surabhi family which is an interesting aspect and is the daughter-in-law of late Andhra Jalari Yathiraj Sampath Kumar Garu. So before I talk about her dance item, uh, I believe she was unable to join us in this video this evening but she definitely sent her uh, words for us. So let's switch to that. అందరికీ నమస్కారం నా పేరు పూర్ణిమ టీచర్ గారి గురించి చెప్పాలంటే నా దగ్గర ఒక తల్లి గురించి ఎలా చెప్పగలం మనము చెప్పలేము కదా ఆమె మమ్మల్ని అందరినీ చాలా పిల్లల్లా చూసేవాళ్ళు డాన్స్ క్లాసులో ఎంత స్ట్రిక్ట్గా ఉన్నా తర్వాత ఫోన్ చేసి పిలిచి ఏమా ఈ పని చేసి చెప్పాను చేసావని అది డాన్స్కి తిట్ట తిట్టడం అయిపోయేది తర్వాత మామూలుగా మాతోటి తల్లిలాగే ఉండేవాళ్ళు ఈ అవకాశం నాకు ఇచ్చినందుకు టీచర్ దగ్గర విద్య నేర్చుకున్నందుకు నేను ఆమెకి జీవితాంతం రుణపడి ఉంటాను ఆమె కోరిక ప్రకారమే ఆమె డాన్స్ని ఆమె మాకు నేర్పించిన విద్యని మొత్తం మా తర్ మా తర్వాత జనరేషన్ వాళ్ళకు కూడా స్ప్రెడ్ చేయాలని కోరుకుంటూ శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ తప్పకుండా అండి ఇందాక ఒక వీడియోలో శోభానాయుడు గారు అన్నట్టుగా ఇది ఒక ఒక తపస్సులాగా మీరందరూ దీన్ని అనుకుని తప్పకుండా నెక్స్ట్ నెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్స్కి ఇది ఆఫర్ చేయడం చాలా ఇట్స్ అ గ్రేట్ థింగ్ థ్యాంక్స్ టు ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ ఫర్ డూయింగ్ దిస్ సో ద నెక్స్ట్ పీస్ దట్ ఈస్ మైండ్ టు బి ప్రజెంటెడ్ ఈజ్ అ త్యాగరాజ కృతి బాలకనకమయ్య ఆన్ రామా డిస్క్రైబ్స్ ద లోటస్ ఐడ్ రామా హూస్ యాజ్ మెజెస్టిక్ యాజ్ ది ఓషన్ అండ్ రేడియంట్ యాజ్ ద సన్ త్యాగరాజ రిక్వెస్ట్ లార్డ్ రామా టు కమ్ ఇన్ ఆల్ హిస్ మెజెస్టీ అ డోంట్ బై రాయల్ ఆర్నమెంట్స్ అండ్ రెస్ప్లెండెంట్ వెపన్స్ రైడింగ్ ఆన్ Garuda surrounded by celestials and sages to submerge him 
in the divine tranquility radiated by Rama's charming countenance. The dancer describes how Bhakti is the only source of salvation by depicting the episode of Shabari, the great devotee of Lord Rama who awaits for his arrival, serves him with utmost love and devotion and seeks salvation and eventually becomes one with Lord. The dancer also depicts the Lord as the protector of good and destroyer of evil in the episode of Kausika Yaga Raksha by killing the demons and protecting the Yaga. Balakanakamaya is in Atanaragam in Aditalam, choreographed by Padmasri Dr. Shobhanayad Garu. Oh, 
Thank you so much for reminding this uh, beautiful dance piece. So, ladies and gentlemen, it has been a wonderful journey so far. And uh, um, I have to tell you that we are almost coming to the end of this beautiful event today. Let me now talk about the last performer tonight. Anna Meshek was mesmerized with Guru Shobha Nairagari's stunning performance and determined to learn his art form. She traveled to Hyderabad, India from Russia all the way and trained under Guru Shopanayagar. After completion of her training, she founded a dance school, Anugama, in St. Petersburg, Russia, which has been successfully training dancers for 26 years now. Let us hear a few quick words from Anna. Namaste to all. So I'm very happy to be as short as possible because it's it's already quite a long time. I'm totally enjoying the uh, program for the second day for me. It's already Sunday here. And uh, I am a part of uh, our great Kuchipudi family. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. 
So the last item that Anna is performing tonight is the Tilana in Valaji Raghu set to Aditaram. This composition is a vivid example of a combination of ornate melodies and unusual rhythmic combinations based on Ritta and graceful movements. The composition is dedicated to goddess Mahisha Saramardini. The beautiful patroness of all worlds is surrounded by the fragrance of beautiful flowers. Enjoy and be mesmerized by the brilliant choreography of Guru Padma Sri Dr. Shobha Naidu Garu.
Beautiful, Anna. That was uh, really graceful and beautiful to watch you perform. Thank you so much for that. So that was the um, I must say the second, and I'm sure one and all must have definitely enjoyed all these wonderful performances this evening. Just one word to conclude. Like uh, Shobha Nadigaru said, this cannot be any art form for that matter. Cannot be like a hobby. It must be like a a prayer that is offered. So she also said, this is like yoga. So as Sadhguru says, yoga is unification. It's basically uniting with the creation. And dance for all these artists seems to be like a platform that connects them, that bridges this uh, to, the, to the wonderful creation. And I hope, it's my, it's my hope, it's my desire. And I'm so fortunate to be witnessing all this. And I must say that uh, it's my hope and my desire to see these artists continue this tradition, this rich culture and pass it on to the next generations. Thank you so much once again. And I would love to call Sri Tagaru to say a few words. This was another amazing uh, session we just concluded on Shabai Man. Uh, the 90 to 2000 batch or beyond here and there, the mixed batch. I was not uh, involved in any way with either of them in the academy because I was a senior and I quit uh, Quit in the sense I left the academy around 87 after I got married. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a few of them, met them in uh, some of the occasions like in workshops or uh, in some other way when I went to academy, they were with teacher performing, or I know them when we met them for performances here. But uh, the bond, the teacher united us all with the spirit of hers and the way we all um, are bonded is really a very unique bond. I tell my students also, the dance buddies are buddies for lifetime because we have been tuned into that discipline, that commitment and the dedication from such an eminent, uh, I should say, iconic figure in our lives. So At true. very tender age like them, even we were very teenagers when we all met, but still today we have a great bond that binds us all together. And I would like to tell Rajeshwari, don't you agree the Sabari part that Purnima portrayed had so much of Sanchari and um, it was so beautifully done. She's one of the versatile artists and unfortunately she couldn't be here for some reason, technical issues, but yeah, she yeah. did a great job. And Anna, um, 
my teacher has always mentioned her. I have heard a lot about you from teacher and my sister Suma and other uh, friends like Jyoti, Lakshmi and all. But for me, I never met you, but I heard a lot of you. And it was nice meeting and seeing you dance today. And with this, I would like to conclude today's beautiful session and thank all the beautiful participants who made my day. I enjoyed my day sitting and watching your beautiful performances. And I would like to call from Srinivas Academy, Srinivas Kuchpudi Art Academy, Sagarika Nandu, to conclude this program. Namaskar. I'm Sagarika Nallu. I'm the niece of Dr. Padmashi Dr. Shobha Nairugari. Uh, the, the conclusion is really beautiful. I, I really thank everyone for your presence and involvement in the beautiful tribute of Padmashi Dr. Shobha Nairugari. Uh, I request you all to join us tomorrow, that is December 13th, Sunday, uh, to showcase, for the showcase of Showcase 3 of Shubhaya Manam, which features the students of uh, Padmashi Dr. Shubha Nairu Garu uh, of batch 2000 to 2010 at 10 a.m. EST and 8.30 p.m. IST. Thank you. Shri Guru Bhyo Namaha.